welcome or welcome back if you're returning my name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art or music then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also don't forget to like this video because that not only helps with the algorithm but it lets me know that you like what I'm doing over here so it's like double whammy. Um, quick announcement before we start, we are on our way to 800 subscribers, we are just about 50 short, once we hit that mark I'm going to be doing a super special live stream where I draw your Final Fantasy XIV character, or um, you, or your OCs, and uh, yeah, so we have to get there, so make sure you subscribe if you've been watching for a while and just haven't done so yet, and yeah, once we get there that'll be a cool thing to do! All right. Ah, but it would be rude of me to monopolize your attention. Doubtless there are others who would speak with you. Let us go and greet Temelin Katun. Welcome, warriors of the steppe. It is an honor to receive you once more. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. We observed the battle from a distance and marked the moment of your triumph. In that instant, I wept tears of joy. Not only did you bring us victory in the Nandam, but you ensured that every one of my kinsmen returned with their lives. Some were more gravely wounded than others, but none were lost to us. We could not have asked for anything more. Well, that's good. If it is not too much of an imp imposition, would you be willing to go and speak with them? A simple gesture for those with whom you shared the battlefield. Poor guy is struggling with his arm. Oh my gosh. Because everybody's just like, yay for the hero. <laughs> Aye, that's the stuff of legends. That's the Khan in all her splendor. Praise be to the Khan and to the gods for guiding her to us. Glory to the Khan and her comrades forever and forever. A hundred years. The Khan. <sighs> What is that look? <laughs> ah, Burr, I am told you gave the young warriors a fine show. Grandmother and I have been discussing how we might best express our gratitude to you. Mere words did not seem sufficient. This is a Morin Kur, a traditional instrument of our people. The feats of our greatest heroes, like Bardam and Chaka, are preserved in song. Yours, too, will live on for years to come. Perhaps one day you might learn how to play it, but even if not, you may look on the Morin Kerr and remember this time, this place, as we will when we, as we will when we hearken to the music. At the risk of sounding impatient, we have certain pressing obligations. It is time that we saw to them. You are right. To whom much is given, much is expected. Nay, do not think yourself so indebted to us. Was it not you who gave us your blessing to participate in the Nadam, and you who saved my lord Hien from certain debt? Doma is in your debt and will ever be a friend to them all. And we to you, Gosetsu. A thought occurs to me. If you wish to return to Yangtze with all haste, the passage to the south of the Dusk Throne would offer the most di direct route. The Dothars sealed it with their magic story, the Doman Rebellion, when more men and iron came from afar. If ever there were a time to open the pass, it is now. We should journey to Dothar Ka. But before that, might we visit the Dawn Throne? I wish to speak with our most radiant brother. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea? I know he agreed to fight for Doma, but I doubt he'll be very happy to see us so soon after we beat him. Nama made us for war, please. Ever since we came into this world, we have fought. In the Nadam, blood was shed and lives were lost. Brown earth was stained crimson and Zayla wept. But crimson is the dusk and the dawn, death and rebirth, an ending to mark a new beginning. We who are born are destined to die. As the seasons turn, we are born again. Thus spoke the first. So you see, we harbor no hatreds. The Nadam is the Nadam, and what comes after is what comes after. Oh. If you say so, 
the Dawn Throne first, then. Yes, and I shall accompany you. The sun is disinclined to entertain you at length. Speak your purpose in coming. <sighs> Humble as ever. Should I be humble in the presence of inferiors? Dude, seriously? I am a child of Azim, and you are not. Your triumph in the Nadam does not raise you to such heights. Oh no. Batu will not be joining us. He was wounded in the Nadam. Oh. His hurts are grave, and he requires rest, but he will walk again in time. Though it is no business of yours, such pity does not become a Khan. We are not allies, Traveler, far from it. The Nadal will come again, and with it, our rule. I say again, why have you come? To bid us surrender the Dawn Throne to the Mole? The mole are beholden to the will of the gods, and they would not have us reside here. The Oranir and the Buddha may remain. We are for Yangtzea, and wish to speak of your part in the coming war. Ah, the Dolmans and the Ironmen. I remember our pact. Sound the call, and the Oranir will answer. Full glad am I to hear it. We have preparations to attend to, but we'll send for you soon. The gods are kind. I am sure the Oranir will prove a great boon in the days to come. <laughs> what is she saying? Of the dusk, a maiden gentle and ethereal. <gasps> a dancer of the morning mist and a warrior besides. Oh, snap. Look into my eyes, child. See you, Azim? Are you my Nava? Oh, no. I... I know not of what you speak, Brother Magni, but I am certain you are mistaken. Quite. <laughs> He's such a weirdo. <laughs> We should get going, right now. <laughs> ah, soul crushed. Does <laughs> the Khan and her warriors. Greetings, my lady. We come to you on our journey south, bound for Yangtzea, where our comrades await us. How fare you and yours in the wake of the Nardam? Many were wounded, some few to the death. That's sad. Resplendent were their souls in the chaos. It was a good battle, a good day to die. Soon we will greet them again. Oh. It may have one who went before them also. Guess his seed has quickened in his lover. When the child is born, we shall see who waits behind its eyes. Oh, she's pregnant. Already we must look to the next Nardam. We must grow strong of body and mind, and your war will help us do so. Say the word and we will fly to the field. Of that I have no doubt, for you are Darth Dothar. There is one more thing we would ask of you. The magics you used to seal the passage to the south, will you unmake them? If that be your wish. When next we come together, it will be on a great battlefield against a common foe. I trust you will fight with the same fervor you demonstrated during the Nardam. Ha! And you, ancient one, will be the demon I know you to be. Aunt Les would be a disappointment. Sadu Katun has done her part. This passage will deliver you to Doma. 
It is here we must part ways until the day you call us to battle. It won't be long, I know, but take care of yourself, Serena, and tell your grandmother and the others again how much we appreciate everything they did for us. I will. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have another gift for you. All these presents. It's like Christmas. Oh, it's, uh, red, um, wait, is this a banner of the Mole Tribe? It is not the most practical of gifts, but we nevertheless wish to present it to you. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I do not fully understand what has befallen Doma, or your homeland, please. But I do understand that you and yours have suffered terribly. The Mole place their faith in the gods, and in turn they shepherd us. They watch over and keep us. We pray they show you the same favor. As it was in the Nanam, blood will be shed. Your land's engulfed in a storm of fire and steel. Yet, as it did here, it shall mark a new beginning there. May you ever walk in crimson, for in crimson there is life. There is liberation. <laughs> Thank you for your prayers, Serena. We shall remember them. Until we meet again. I love her little pink outfit. Look, like, it's so cute. Pink outfit, pink hair. Aww. Another chapter ends. Right then, to the House of the Fierce. With me, my friends. I have not used this road before, but... Ah, I recognize this place. The House of the Fierce should lie somewhere to the south. I will go on ahead and inform the sentries of our master's return. Here we are. I wonder if they all are gathered inside, waiting. Perhaps expecting a speech or some such. Well, no matter. I shall have to do what I shall have to do. Brothers and sisters, pray forgive me my absence. It has been far too long. Lord here. Gossetsu told us of your trials and tribulations on the steppe. Would that I had been present to witness your victory, my lord. Our victory, Yugiri owed as much to each of my stalwart comrades as it did to me. Now rise. I will not suffer this excess of formality any longer. Alphenol and Alizé Levieux, I presume? I am told we owe you much. It is a pleasure to meet you both. The pleasure is ours, Lord Hien. Though we were born and raised a world apart, our values are one and the same. Freedom, justice, liberty. Each of which Doma shall soon enjoy once more. Hopefully. I understand you have brought an army. Indeed. The Zayla tribes of the Azim Steppe have pledged their military might to the cause. Good. We, meanwhile, have secured the support of the Confederacy and a not insignificant number of your countrymen. The Blue Kojin, too, have expressed a willingness to join the fight, provided you agree to certain trade agreements following the liberation of Doma. The Shinobi will render what aid they can. However, Suino Sato refused to answer our call. No matter. What forces we have amassed far exceed my original expectations. You have my thanks. You should know that Xenos departed Doma not long after you left to find Lord Hian. We know not the reason why, but it would seem he was eager to return to Gear Abania. What? Have you heard anything from the Resistance? There hasn't been another attack, has there? Tataru assures me they are quite well. You need not worry. If anything, this turn of events would seem to be to our advantage. But there the good news ends. Yotsuyu retains her position as acting viceroy, and we have reports that the garrison at Doma Castle is preparing for a massive operation. We suspect that the Empire's attempt to eliminate you on the steppe may have been a prelude to a larger effort to purge the remaining pockets of resistance within Doma.
The hour of reckoning is upon us. We got this. <laughs> the Han has spoken. And I, for one, am not inclined to argue. That's right! In this place, in this moment, I call upon you all. 25 years of oppression, of tyranny, of shame. It ends with us. We will prevail. Once more, welcome back. It is good to see you again, Burr. Ah, yes, there is another recent development we neglected to share with you. Alize and I have been hard at work attempting to restore the Aetherite here to its former glory, and I am pleased to inform you that we succeeded. Suffice it to say, it should prove a boon for travel. Well, for those replete with anima like you, at least. I imagine you are eager to hear the particulars of our plan. Allow me a moment to gather everyone's attention. What you got for us? If all are in agreement, I will outline my plan to retake Doma Castle. First, Lise and the Doman Irregulars will conduct a series of raids against Imperial targets throughout the surrounding area, with the aim of drawing the garrison's attention. Shortly thereafter, our Zayla allies will launch a surprise attack on the castle's airborne defenses. In this way, we will prevent the enemy's airships from rendering support and cut off one means of escape. Alize and I, together with the Shinobi, will exploit the ensuing chaos to infiltrate the moon gates and disable the Magitek field generators. Once the barrier is down, we will be free to cross the one river and reach Doma Castle. It is at this point that we must turn to our Confederate and Kojin allies. They will commence to bombard the castle with cannon fire while sailing west towards the Doman Enclave. Wait, the Enclave? Why would you want them to sail away from the castle? Because the Enclave is home to countless civilians. Once pressed, the Imperials may well think to take them hostage, and I would fain forestall any such attempt. After we have secured the Enclave, we may lay siege to Doma Castle directly. The main strength of the Doman Liberation Front, under Lord Hien's command, shall be committed to this endeavor, as will you and your redoubtable allies. The rest is simple. We scour the castle for the Viceroy, we find her, and we subdue her. Without their leader, what remains of the Imperial's morale will crumble, and they will surrender or attempt to flee. And Doma will be free. Your thoughts, Lord Hien? If any points were unclear or gave you cause for concern, I should be glad to go over them with you. Nay, tis a fine plan. You have a talent for this. That much is plain. We shall carry out Alphano's plan to the letter. Time is of the essence, as you know, so let us each see to our respective preparations. Carry on. Good job, Alfie. Such a smart one. There is no shortage of tasks which must needs be completed before we can launch our attack. If you have a moment, perhaps you could lend a hand. That said, I have only just returned. Would be better for you to speak with Alphano to find out how you might be of service. Trying to keep busy, for glad am I to hear it. This, there is one task which comes to mind. As I explained during my briefing, Alizé and I will need to infiltrate the moon gates to disable the Magitek field generators. Though I pride myself on my knowledge of various subjects, I must confess I lack confidence in my knowledge of this particular one, which is why I turned to an expert. 
I have been conversing with Sid via Tataru, attempting to ascertain the design of the generators based on our limited intelligence. Most recently, he sent a parcel with some documents which he believes may be of use. I would like for you to go to Kugane and bring them back here. In the meantime, I will continue to work with our shinobi, shinobi allies to plot a path into the gates. Safe travels, Burr, and thank you again. <laughs> Burr, what are you doing here? I thought you were off fighting nomads on the Azim Step. Oh, you beat them. Good show. A shame I didn't get to see it. Alfredo has been keeping me apprised of the situation in Doma. I may not be good, any good at it. I may not be good in a physical fight, but in a er, paperwork fight, I'm the true Han. Yeah! You're here for the parcel Sid sent, right? Wait a moment, it, it will be right out. <laughs> this guy. Hancock. It arrived not long ago. A porter delivered it to our offices along with various other knickknacks from Eorzea. Sid regrets that he couldn't come here in person. Apparently his hunt for the dragon at Omega de demands his full attention, you see. Still, he was reasonably confident that the documents he provided would be soon would be enough for Alpha Node to do the work himself. So as soon as that parcel gets here, we can open it up and see what's inside. Pardon my interruption, but the parcel in question... Was it the one you placed on the shelf in the back for safekeeping? I believe so, yes. Why do you ask? Well, you see, on closer inspection, said parcel appears to have been addressed to the Sekisigumi barracks. Though it does indeed bulge with a quantity of paper reminiscent of a rather large instruction manual, the lingering scent of lilac leads me to conclude it is in fact a sizable collection of love letters. What? Impossible! That porter was carrying a parcel addressed to us! I saw the writing with my own eyes! Oh, I do not doubt that in the least. However, as he was tasked with a number of deliveries, I can only presume that he handed you another parcel by mistake. This is a disaster! We have to find that porter right this instant! My, she can move quickly when she has a mind to do so. So quickly, she neglected to take these love letters with her. They too must be redirected to their rightful recipient. They should also aid you in tracking down the right porter. They keep records of the deliveries and so forth, after all. The man in question was of middling height and build, not unlike myself. Black hair, short. Terribly helpful in Kugane, I know. A cheery sort, wearing bright colors, as I recall. I will send a few of my men out to search, but in the meantime, why don't you take the parcel and see if you can't track him down yourself? I will wait here, on the off chance he realizes his mistake and returns. Don't worry, Tataru. You don't have to kill anyone. I'm sorry, I couldn't find him. I guess we just have to hope he realizes his mistake and returns soon. That's it! That's the parcel! You found him! Though, knowing our luck, Sid put the wrong papers in here. Nope, this is it. These are the documents detailing the operation of the Magitech field generators Alphino requested. <gasps> I can only imagine what would have happened had we sent Burr back to Doma with a parcel full of love letters. The look on Alphino's face when he reads the first page. On second thought, I'm a little disappointed we didn't. Oh my gosh. Everyone's working so hard to fight for Doma's freedom, and here I am, making the same million silly mistakes. It won't happen again, Burr, and I'll keep working hard to bring you and the others useful information. If we hear anything new, we'll contact you straight away. Oh, then you may be pleased to hear that we have brokered an arrangement between the company and the Confederacy. They require armaments we provide, discreetly, and at a reasonable price. I'm sure Lord Lolorito was pleased to hear it. Ah, <laughs> indeed he was. Indeed he was. Well, it seems our time together is at an end. Give Alphino and Alizé my regards, will you? Excellent. This looks to be exactly what we need. Assuming our shinobi escort can see us safely inside the moon gates, I should have no trouble deactivating the barrier. Good, good. 
That is one less thing to worry about. Should you wish for a further employment, mayhap you could speak with Alize. I believe she was planning to search the surrounding area for Imperial patrols. If you go now, you may be able to catch her before she departs. Alphino told you about my, about my plans? And you wish to come with me? Well, far be it from me to refuse you. If truth be told, I'm not entirely sure what I expect to find. In the wake of your failed assassination attempt, the Imperials demonstrated uncharacteristic restraint. There were no public executions, and not a single village was put to the torch. But, as I mentioned earlier, our latest intelligence does suggest a purge is imminent. For all we know, they could be out in the field even as we speak, surveilling their targets and making plans. If so, we need to put a stop to it. Let us begin our search in the north. I saw them attack you while this one fled. Since you seem to have everything in hand, I decided to capture him. An Imperial, I presume. I knew it would come to this, but at the hands of a Westerner, a Doman would at least know the rights. You think you understand, but you do not. She will burn it all before she surrenders. She will never kneel again, nor should she. Rest assured, the Nayuri will receive due compensation. Young Asahi has great potential. That much is plain. If he applies himself, he may one day be granted the opportunity to go to Garlemald and learn from some of the leading authorities in the field of magic tech. Few citizens are afforded such treatment, however, much less people of the provinces. You will need to do more. Oh, oh, of course. Have no doubt that we shall. My husband and I want only the best imperial education for our boy. I finished planting the rice, mother. Oh. Not while the officer is here, Yatsuyu. Inside. Now. They're gonna make us feel sorry for this girl. Yes, mother. You did not mention that you had a daughter. My sisters, not mine. Kami, rest her soul. <sighs> she is utterly hopeless, but one cannot choose one's family. Indeed. She is of age to receive an education as well, is she not? Yet we have no records. I trust I need not remind you of your legal obligations. No, no, of course not. But she is weak and sickly. Some days she has not the strength to leave her bed. Though, a thought occurs to me. Mayhap we can come to an understanding. She's so cute. Seriously, worst mother ever. A and T. Whatever you want to call her. She sucks. <laughs> Ugh. That was a near thing. What happened? We were talking and then all of a sudden you were somewhere else. Did one of those soldiers hit you on the head or something? Sometimes I just space out. <laughs> well, if you say so, we should go and tell the others what happened here. Yeah, the guy does not seem like a good guy. Yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. 
we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.